I truly believe it is a new generation of new technology engineers. Uh, a lot of people have likened the energy uh, revolution uh, to that of the IT when the web was first coming out. Uh, and I think there's no real argument that energy demand is increasing and that energy is going to be the next focus uh, in, in many industries. Um, but you know the, the students here in the ESE program are really learning again across those three different focus areas transportation, grid, and portable power uh, you know how all of those three focuses come together you know how they work with each other how they interact and you know that those are really tools that uh, are unique to this program you, you don't really learn that in your undergrad studies and this program really kind of puts those at the forefront and you know, gives these engineers the opportunity to learn those foremost and then apply those directly. So this, the marketplace for these engineers is going to expand. Uh, there's, there's no question about that. And these, you know, again, the ESE engineers are, are very well equipped to go into that marketplace and make themselves useful and valuable to whatever industry, whatever company that, that they go end up working for. So I'm pleased to be talking with Shinora Mean about the alternative energy competition. Uh, this is a competition that was held at the University of Michigan in the College of Engineering this fall through the Center for Entrepreneurship. Uh, it was sponsored by a generous allocation from Richard Rosemarin, who is a managing uh, director of Cornerstone Management. Uh, the competition is focused on uh, bringing scalable solutions for alternative energy to uh, low-income families in developing nations. and it. Uh, uh, it attracted several dozen uh, participants among the student body at the university uh, who developed concepts for uh, inexpensive alternative energy solutions for developing nations, uh, including the project uh, which Shinora will be talking about. Uh, the, uh, uh, Shinora was announced as the grand prize winner along with his, his business partner uh, for their uh, project which involves a, uh, a $10 device uh, utilizing solar energy. Uh, for uh, off-grid power. Would you like to say a few more things about your, uh, your prize-winning design, Shinor? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mostoski. We're, we're thinking of ideas to implement from in re renewable energy technologies in third world countries because we're both from third world countries, so we understand what the needs are. The number one cause of respiratory ailments in, in, in Africa is actually not smoking, it's actually kerosene lamps, interestingly. so. We were very astounded by these facts that we were faced with, and we were very determined to solve these problems, um, especially helping our families back home. And we were thinking, hey, look at this resource that University of Michigan provided. Why don't we come up with a portable energy solution that uses clean solar energy to provide lighting at night, which is the primary, primary need in uh, many of these countries for education, and have a way to charge people's cell phones. Because although wireless technology has enabled cell phones in many of these developing countries, very cheaply, they still have no way to charge them because of the poor energy infrastructure. So we wanted to solve these two primary problems in these countries. A lot of the interesting problems in the energy space are absolutely at the interfaces. Uh, vehicle grid interface is one good example. If only auto people work together on a project, they may miss some important elements of what they need to bake into their designs. It's going to be important when they ultimately interface with a power company. So having teams comprised of people of different interests and areas of expertise becomes extremely important and we absolutely try to engineer that into our team building in the, in the program. The kind of power supply that you'll see in a crowded megacity in the emerging economies of Brazil, Russia, and India, and China will be different than the kinds of power supplies we see in suburban North America. Uh, it's critically important that we think about all of those diverse elements and as Americans, as, as in our traditional role of being tradition, uh, technology providers to the world, it's critically important that we train our engineers to solve all kinds of those problems. I say to the students all the time, it, it, you have to stand where the ball is going to be. And clearly, uh, the ball is not going to be in uh, massively carbon emitting uh, power sources. It can't be. I'm a Michigan engineer and I'm more than ready for the future. I'm a Michigan engineer and an educator and I'm preparing students for the future. I'm a Michigan engineer and an entrepreneur that's going to shape the future. Michigan engineers are more than prepared for the future.